morning, Daryl. I didn't catch a video, unfortunately. I'm sorry, my friend. Turned out the news and everything else. Hell on earth was breaking loose. I have a lot more gun violence across the country, not to mention in my state of California. Even in Antelope Valley has several robberies happened this past weekend. Armed robberies. <laughs> Some shootings happening as well. One of those armed robberies, I think. So yeah, the local news out here in Antelope Valley has been going nuts. As for the rest, well, we still had some shootings happening on the city of Los Angeles area. Oh, yeah. I was going through MSNBC and CNN. I think one of those guys were talking about a website called Con Violence Archives. Very disturbing. Very disturbing. 72 hours. They've got a report on that. And I did say very disturbing. I mean, they they got charts and graphs on this thing. Uh, yeah, I think so. Very disturbing at this point. I think very disturbing. And we're not done yet. People are going to be screaming for more thoughts and prayers and more guns in the stream. More blood to feed the beast. Hey, if that wasn't bad enough for uh, fireworks for you, how about uh, Iceland going up again? Blue Lagoon, famous uh, touristy area that they've got out there. Well, buried alive in the in the, uh, in the lava. we got a live right now on the uh, RUV channel. Who's the right, Let me get on the Google Maps here, boys and girls. I want to take a look at the neighborhood. You know, this week I got another weekly, se uh, almost a bi-weekly session with my therapist again. So things like this ought to be fun to deal with. Alrighty. And, uh, Let us scroll as soon as the computer starts waking up worse than I am right now. Arkin guy is coming over. Another weekly staff. Oh, you notice the, uh, yeah, well, they're going to notice that one too. This is not pissing off management. So let them know that if or when they come in, they may be involved in a little, uh, recording. Only because I may be doing stuff. Who's a fell? Holy crap. Alright, let's see what we got. Now, Google Maps should have been. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. That's inland. Where the hell's... That's well above Reykjavik. Holy crap. Yeah, I think it's a little significant for me this morning. We've got lava tubes going on right now as it is. Hell, I thought Reykjavik was... Uh, not Reykjavik, but... Uh, Grindavik was going to be having issues. You know, Iceland is made of of volcanic activity. So, it's alarming to them, but it's not earth-shattering just yet. Not until you see other volcanoes popping up and burying things alive. And, yeah, I, uh... I don't know, something like this kind of fascinates me and scares the crap out of me. Only because I keep expecting some of that stuff to happening out here, too. I need to get the damn layers up here. I need to see if they got it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Wildfire's my ass. Oh, air quality. Oh. 
Let me see what they get for air quality. Okay, no information on that one. Okay, just want to make sure. But they haven't got that much information out here yet. But looking on YouTube and seeing what things are going on, I mean, that to me looked like it was a present danger right there. But it's nature at its fiery, mesmerizing, geologic nature. And then you go to the other YouTube channels and they see more about, oh, I'm sorry if I don't get elected. Things are going to be a blood shitty. Oh, did I didn't mean to say that on a hot mic. And there's people over here in Ohio. But I honestly say if I'm not going to be the president, we'll have peace. I'm just going to be the first day of a terrorist, that's all. I might get rid of the media. Throw everybody else in jail. But you know what I mean? I'm down a trap. Oh. I'm live or live or awake for this shit in the morning. I don't even know why I'm putting myself through this shit in the morning. I've got a few hours before the guys come over. I know they're spraying. My body still wants to go back to bed and sleep this shit off. I mean, come on. What the hell? Putin gets in office and now he's going to be threatening World War Three, one way or another. Isn't this fun? People are screaming and yelling that we want more and more guns on the street. And yet we got how many more shootings during this past week? They're probably going to say we're going to need to get our mental health reevaluated. You know, I keep telling people about this one. You're going to be surrendering more and more of freedoms and liberties just for your own damn security. And before you know it, everything is going to be locked down so much that we can't even form a function. We can't even do a damn thing because we've got fear and paranoia running around like crazy. But God forbid, if we don't happen to vote Trump in office, what are we going to have? Fire on Earth? Iceland's already having it for us. That was a joke. No joke, when I'm seeing this for this power class of crap going on. That, yeah, I'll worry about that stuff happening out here. Just naturally, geologically, Earth opens up, and then we get volcanic gas going on, killing people left and right in the area. Very dangerous, very deadly. And then you have the finite uh, silicas in the air has a way of lining the lungs and, and making you feel real sick and there's no way to hell to get rid of it. It's like breathing in cement. Actually, you are breathing in cement of sorts. I had the same damn shit every time there was major disasters happening. You got people breathing in that rock shit or whatever crap is happening to the lungs. There's no way to get it regenerated. So isn't that scary enough? But how does that deal with politics? Not a damn thing, but unless you wanted to, wanted to um, connect the dots somehow, weird. Israel is getting pressured on by a lot of countries, including ours. And that you now you know, is being feisty about it. And the thing is, I would quite agree with the bastard. I got uh, Morning Joe freaking out left and right. I had Schumer freaking out left and right on the politics left over here. But the thing of it is, it's sovereignty. And the sovereignty of each nation is affected by each other. We have ways of affecting sovereignty without doing direct force, unless you're going to be doing direct force. And then, talking about potential war. Maureen Joe was freaking out this morning. Joe Scarborough was on a rant this morning. 
They were saying that Netanyahu already had the plans from Hamas. Netanyahu already knew about what the hell Hamas was going to do even during the time when Trump is in office. Which question was, how come Hamas picked it this time with Biden in office? To do this shit. Political? I mean, I could, I could spin up conspiracy theories or ideas on this one here, and I'm just too damn tired to do so. But this stresses me out. I'm going to cut this short because i got to go back to bed again. Get another hour or two more sleep and then worry about how the hell I'm going to get the kitchen cleaned up before Oregon gets here before 9 o'clock in the morning. And I'm not even live or awake for this shit in the morning. <sighs> yeah, good morning, YouTube, my friend.